So what if I told you that you could design professional UI interfaces like this? Or even like this without even being a designer. And in under just 10 minutes, Google launched the Gemini 3 Flash and it has never been this easy to create stunning UI designs. But the prompt that you use in Gemini can make all the difference. So today I'm showing you the exact system that I use to create professional UIs. So we are going to be building a landing page, a SaaS dashboard, and a mobile app that looks like you hired a $5,000 design team. And I know that this works because I've been testing this out for the last couple of days and I have generated some insane UIs. Before we dive in, I've put together all of the prompts and all the templates from this video in our free school community. Guys, the link is in the description below and join now because we are dropping some advanced UI templates, design systems and workflows every single week. Over 6,000 creators are already inside learning this stuff and guys, you definitely don't want to miss out. So go and check it out But right now. Let's get over to the PC. So guys, now it's time for us to get started. So let's start by heading over to Google AI Studio, okay? And inside Google AI Studio, we can select the latest Gemini 3 Flash. And guys, there are three reasons to select Flash over the other models. So it's four to six times cheaper, which is definitely that the kind of thing that all of us want to hear and it generates complete UIs in just 30 seconds which takes other models at roughly about 5 to 10 minutes to generate and the best part is guys that it actually understands design principles so that is the color palettes and building cohesive designs so this isn't just code this is all real design here is what separates amateur AI designs from professional ones okay and that is basically just your prompt structure so our UI design prompt has the specific strategy and that is where every prompt has three parts so number one is the design context so basically who is the audience what's the purpose what style are we actually going for and two that is the technical specifications so what sections do you need how should they be organized and what components are actually required and then three is the visual direction so that is colors the typography the spacing or micro interactions this is what makes everything just look professional instead of being generic. So basically, this is the structure that you want to master and you'll never create a boring AI design ever again. Okay, so let me show you how to do all of this. So most people just type create a website for a coffee shop. That's kind of the basic way that they would go. So then what happens is you get a generic hero section, you get some boring color, you get a templated layout, and this just looks like every other AI generated website. This is why designs don't get taken seriously. It's because people can see that you're barely putting in the work. So now I want you guys to watch how to do it all the right way. So I'm using our three part formula, okay? So I'll add the prompt now. So first, our design context. So that's who we are designing for okay what the business is what the style what's what kind of style we want and i'm targeting young professionals who value quality and experience okay apple inspired minimalists and kind of having a bit of a warm touch to it okay and then comes all of the magic okay and that is with our visual direction so here we add our color palette our typography and other visual elements so now i will add in the technical specifications like the hero section the layout and gemini knows exactly what we need and how it should flow okay and that's pretty much what makes it so cool now that we have the layout let's generate okay and if you guys look in just a little bit there we go guys take a look at this so as you can see this is a clean looking interface okay it's it has a professional color palette and the, the kind that actually makes sense okay so look at the spacing as you can see guys everything breathes it just looks so professional the hero section has a bold headline there's a clear value proposition which you are looking for if you are taking this into the business route and also there's a prominent cta the menu grid is beautiful i mean as you can see guys and the about section has a perfect two column balance so everything just looks amazing this looks like something that a design agency would charge thirty thousand dollars for and yet we just made this in 30 seconds so basically you just saved yourself thirty thousand dollars so guys here is just a quick little tip if you love it 
but you want some different colors, then all you need to do is basically just go over here and you just say, change the primary color to forest green, keep everything else the same. And there we go, guys. Now you get a new vibe and you get the same quality and you can change it up in any way that you want to. So that's the website UI. But now let's, let's level everything up to something way more complex, okay? So I can really show you where we can go with this. Landing pages are simple, but a SaaS dashboard it has data visualization, it has complex navigation, it has multiple states, it has interactive components. All of that is pretty confusing and this is where most AI designs completely fall apart. So look at what happens with a bad prompt, okay? You get a confusing navigation, you get messy data tables, there's no hierarchy, completely unusable. And I've seen people honestly just spend hours, close to a day, just trying to fix these disasters. But with the right plum structure, Gemini actually handles it all pretty beautifully. So for dashboards, we go deeper into all three parts. So we think about user flow, component hierarchy, and design system elements. And let me add the plump now okay so take a look at this so first our design context where i'm defining what users need to accomplish so this is an analytics dashboard and the primary goal here is to view key business metrics at a quick glance and then our technical specifications so that is like our left sidebar navigation with dashboard the analytics the reports the settings the top bar with search the notifications and the user profile so the main area with metric cards the line charts the bar charts and also the data table that's basically the stuff that we want to cover. And then lastly, what we want is our visual direction for a complete design. So that is professional blue palette with semantic colors for success, typography, hierarchy, optimized for data and labels, a grid spacing system, hover active and disabled states for all interactive elements and a dark mode compatible. Take a look at all of that. Let's make sure we have it all. Okay. And there we go, guys. Now let's generate this. And there we go. There you can see guys, a professional grade UI is right here. So it has a clean sidebar navigation. The top bar is perfectly placed. I mean, guys, just look at just look at the main area. The data visualization is perfect. Line charts showing trends, the bar charts for comparisons, the metric cards with percentage changes, and the trend indicators. Everything just looks so clean. It's a clean data table with a sortable column and also action buttons, which is exactly what we are going for. And it just made everything look so clean and so organized. And guys, just look Look at the consistent spacing throughout everything. That is something that usually messes with a lot of people, but here it just worked off so perfectly. There's a professional color palette which works. It immediately catches your eye. It's not too bright. It's not too dull. It's just, just, just right. The buttons have clear hover states and also the cards have subtle shadows for depth. So guys, this is actually what a $99 a month SaaS product looks like. This is what a design system looks like in action. And yet, look how quickly we created it. <laughs> so guys, a pro tip just just for those who need it, be specific about what you need, okay? So don't just say add charts. What you need to do is say, include a bar chart that is comparing monthly revenue and uh, a line chart that's showing user growth and a pie chart breaking down traffic sources. So you basically wanna be descriptive, okay? Gemini will generate exactly those visualizations with proper labels and styling that matches your design system that you are going for. And guys, now that we have that, Basically, two is down. Now for the final challenge, okay? Which is going to be a mobile UI. And I'm gonna show you guys how to put all of that together, okay? Mobile is a comp completely different beast. And here's exactly why, okay guys? Because on desktop, you've got screen real estate. So basically what that means is you can spread things out. You can kind of play around with all of the space that you have. You can add sidebars, show multiple columns, but on mobile, it's basically 375 pixels wide. So you don't really have a lot of space. Every pixel on here matters and you have to make the most of the little that you have. So basically every tap target, it needs to be thumb friendly. So user flow actually becomes absolutely critical at this point. So guys, take a look at what happens when people just shitting desktop designs to mobile. Tiny buttons that you can't tap, small text that you can't even read, there's buried navigation, completely unusable. And this is why 88% of most users won't 
if you turn to a site after they have a bad mobile experience. I mean, guys, just think about it. If you're looking to test out something and if you see that the experience is this bad on mobile, are you going to go back? Probably not. So that's why this is so key, guys. And with a mobile first mindset and also the right palm structure, you can actually create interfaces that feel native and professional. So guys, for mobile, we still use our three-part formula, which is not going to change at all. But what we do is we actually think specifically about the mobile constraints and the mobile patterns. So let me add in the mobile palm so you guys can check it out, okay? So first, our mobile context. People use their phones one-handed. You know what I mean? And are they always using it on the go? They often in bright sunlight, so we're going to be prompting accordingly, okay? Just so that we can keep all of that in mind. And then our technical specs, okay? Like a workout detail section and a progress tracking section. Let's add that in. And then lastly, let's add our mobile first design and a visual style. So what I want is high contrast and bold colors. There, now we should have it. So, okay, there we go, guys. Just double check everything to be sure. And there we go. Let's generate. Okay, so now let's look at the home screen. And there you can see, guys, it's a clean dashboard with stats at the top. There's steps, there's calories, there's active minutes, cards showing recent workouts with clear visuals, which is definitely what you want. There's a quick start section with large tappable buttons. The bottom navigation is perfectly positioned for your thumbs, which you know, super important. And the workout detail screen, there's bold typography for the workout name. There's clear sections showing the exercises with reps and sets. There's prominent start buttons that's easy to tap. Everything is designed for quick scanning and easy interaction, which is which which basically makes people want to stay here. And I mean, guys, just take a look at the progress screen. It literally shows weekly and monthly trends with clean, readable charts, and the data isn't cramped up. As you can see, guys, it's weirdly spaced out almost perfectly. And and it has room to breathe even though it's on such a small screen i mean just take a look at the just take a look at all the consistency across the screens okay you can see it's the same color palette the same typography scale and the same spacing these are the little things that really allows your stuff to stand out and this it literally looks like a real app that a development team spent a month building and this is a mobile first app so not a desktop site that is squeezed into a phone this comes across as we had the phone in mind and we designed it for it it's designed from the ground up for how people actually use their mobile devices and guys just a quick tip since we passing around all the tips in the video here's one another quick tip guys give the video a like and also subscribe but here's the tip that you were actually looking for so once you've got your first screen with a solid design system then what you do is you create more screens by saying generate a setting screen using the same design system and visual style. And then Gemini actually maintains all the consistency, which is the colors, the typography, the spacing, the components, while creating something completely new, it's literally still paying attention to that. And that's how you build cohesive app experiences that people actually enjoy. So guys, now that we have finished with that, we've built three professional UIs, but here's what the pros do and nobody really talks about. They create a design system first not individual screens. So when you create a design system up front, every UI that you generate after is consistent, professional, and cohesive. So you're not guessing at colors or spacing anymore. You have a complete system to reference. So instead of just jumping straight into design, you start with the film template, which you can then copy from our free school, guys. Again, the link is down in the description below. And then you can generate that first. And then you get a complete color palette with hex codes, the full typography, and now here's the magic, okay? So every time you actually create a new UI, you just reference it. You say, using the same design system as above, create a landing page for a real estate company or using this design system, design a mobile app for meal planning and everything just stays consistent. There's the same color, the same typography, the same spacing, the same component styles. And this is how professional design teams at companies like Airbnb or Stripe, this is how they work. And now you can do it with AI. Now, isn't that just so cool, guys? This is honestly the difference between dabbling with AI design and actually producing professional work that clients pay thousands for. And the cool thing is, you can do all of this in just a couple of minutes. Now, are you going to waste time or are you going to hop onto this right now? Guys, remember, the link is in the description below. And there you have it, guys. Three professional UIs in under 10 minutes. A website landing page, a SaaS dashboard, and a mobile app interface. But 
all of these prompts, the complete templates and the design system frameworks, the advanced techniques I didn't have time to cover. Guys, all of that is in our free school community. Guys, we're not just dropping prompts. We are dropping complete AI templates and samples for you to use. So click the first link in the description below, guys, and join in under 30 seconds. And guys, if this was valuable to you, then hit that like button, subscribe for more AI automation tutorials. And we are just getting started with what is truly possible. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.